unveil the powerful women of ancient Egypt. From pharaohs to queens, these women played a major role in shaping the ancient world. Hatshepsut ruled as pharaoh during the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt. Despite the cultural and political barriers of her time, Hatshepsut proved to be one of the most successful pharaohs in history. She became one of the most powerful rulers of her time, expanding Egypt's territories, building impressive monuments, and leaving behind a number of impressive buildings and temples. Her rule is considered one of the most prosperous in ancient Egyptian history. Hatshepsut's rule was an exception, as it was uncommon for a woman to hold this position, especially for such an extended period of time. Hatshepsut was not only able to gain the support of the people, but also the support of the elite, including the military and the priesthood. This was crucial for her survival as pharaoh. Nefertiti, the great royal wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten, her iconic bust is one of the most recognizable symbols of ancient Egypt, and her beauty was celebrated in art and literature of her time. Her name means the beautiful one has come. Along with her husband Akhenaten, she played a key role in the religious reforms of her time. She is believed to have convinced her husband to shift the focus of the state religion from the god Amun to the god Aten, represented as the sun disk. This religious revolution marked a drastic change in the way the gods were represented and the role of religion in society. The change was not welcomed by everyone and may have been one of the reasons that led to her husband's downfall. Cleopatra is one of the most well-known women in ancient Egyptian history, and for good reason. She was the last pharaoh of Egypt and managed to hold her own against some of the most powerful men of her time, including Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. Her political savvy and strategic alliances helped keep Egypt as an independent kingdom for many years. She was an able leader and politician, and a patron of arts and sciences. Even after her death, her legend lived on and she became the subject of numerous works of art, literature, and film. Cleopatra was able to speak various languages and was educated in mathematics, philosophy, and politics, which allowed her to gain the respect of her subjects and her political allies. Cleopatra's death marked the end of the Ptolemaic dynasty and the end of the independent Egypt as well. Meritaten was the eldest daughter of Pharaoh Akhenaten and Nefertiti, and she held several high-level positions during her father's reign. Some historians believe that she may have even ruled Egypt for a time following her father's death. She was depicted in many scenes in the royal palace and in her father's temple, indicating that she held an important role during her father's reign. Meritaten was considered as the great royal wife, the highest title that a queen could hold. She was also depicted as a goddess in some scenes, indicating that she was also considered divine. After her father's death and the end of the religious revolution, she disappeared from the historical records, but her name was still remembered in inscriptions and texts. Anxenamun was the great royal wife of Pharaoh Tutankhamun, and after his death, she may have become Pharaoh, ruling Egypt under the name Anxenamun. She is known for her role in helping to restore the traditional gods of Egypt after her husband's death. Anxenamun is not mentioned much in the historical records, and not much is known about her life. Her tomb, along with her husband's, was discovered by Howard Carter in 1922. It was filled with treasures and artifacts that gives us glimpse of their life and court. She is best known for her letter to the Hittite king Sapayuluma, in which she pleads for him to send a prince to marry her and become the pharaoh of Egypt. Queen Nefertari, one of the great royal wives of Ramesses the Great, was an important figure in New Kingdom Egypt. Her tomb in the Valley of the Queens is considered one of the most beautiful of all the tombs. The tomb decorations depict Nefertari's beauty, high status, and closeness to the gods. She was depicted in many scenes with the pharaoh, indicating that she played a significant role in the court. Nefertari was also a patron of the arts, and several of the most famous and beautiful examples of New Kingdom art come from her tomb. The tomb was discovered in 1904 by Ernesto Schiaparelli, and its decorations are considered some of the finest examples of ancient Egyptian art. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos on ancient Egypt and its many mysteries.